Hello everyone, this is the tutorial for the single nano. The single and dual pretty much work the same, so I just wanted to use the single first. Um, I usually will have two small Tupperware containers inside of a bigger one. This can be set up any number of ways, so everybody will have something different. In here, I like to put something there to elevate this side so that the water flows away from the motor. The motor, I'm using the USB water pump. Um, you can pretty much use anything with larger pumps if you have a speed controller, as long as you get in the right range of flow rate. So for this one, um, an easy way to take these tubes off if you pinch it here, just move back and forth comes right off I am running this with this flare flange still working out all the names for little parts and in there I just have the the orifice the flow restrictor feed rate restrictor of course the Jet dry, my little scoop, and a little cup I use to add water to the hopper. While this is dry, you can get this hopper and twist it. Kind of melt that plastic together a little bit, and that'll help um, to seal up the hopper port. It leaks a little bit at first when you first run it, but that tends to go away. And I like to have the water just barely cover up the motor. That way the displacement of the dirt, after the displacement of the dirt, the water doesn't overflow the container. And then add our surfactant. Not entirely sure if this is necessary for enclosed system like this but something I like to do out of habit and then plug it up and if you notice some air gets stuck there it went away now but if it does you can pinch it a little bit up there and it clears it out so as you can see here it's sucking in a lot of air but if we raise this stop sucking it out so if it's if that's happening what I've been doing is just cutting this a little bit shorter and that fixes that so now that I have it cut down you can see that it has a smooth flow no no air coming through or very little bit of air um, cut it basically horizontal with the bottom of the trap there. Recently I've been cutting this tube horizontal too. Seems to give it a nice flow coming out. It doesn't really affect the operation of it, but it's just something I'm trying. In the very beginning, I like to just add a little bit of water, get that material down in the trap, let it settle. And then just keep feeding it. some more water and at this point I'll just add a few cups into a good layer of water that's on top and 
and then you should just be able to keep feeding it. Without dropping any. And you'll notice that this layer of water tends to stay. But eventually I'll have to add a little bit more. I seem to be having some good exchange here. Um, but sometimes, especially if the dirt is really, really dense, you won't be able to see it on the outside, but it'll still be happening <clears throat> inside the trap. Get another layer of water built up here. That's pretty much done. I just gotta finish cleaning up this bowl here. So it's about a four minute run time for this tubware of dirt that I have. I just <clears throat> kicked up some dirt into my motor there. And another interesting thing, unintended consequence, but the more the gold trap fills up, the more that it forces water into the hopper, which slows down the feed rate even more. So it's sort of a self-regulating thing. And I did not add the gold or gold back. So I guess technically this would be a third, third run. And that's why it's so fluidized right now because all my heavies and gold are still in the pan that I forgot to add back to the dirt. So I'll do another run. That's the technical first run. And one reason I like using these smaller containers um, is because I can just set that there, put this one here, and I don't have to transfer any dirt. All right, so I added, added all my gold back into the dirt, along with the heavies that the first run will catch, and uh, run that through and show you a little clip of the trap. All right, so as you can see here, almost half of it, nothing's moving. That's normal. 
that's uh, not really an issue because inside you can't see it but it's staying fluid um, and I have noticed in past testing that if you see gold on the outside of this wall you may be having some getting flushed out <clears throat> um, I know that when you're running it, you want to see the gold instantly. Um, but if you don't see it, it's probably a good thing because it means it's staying there at the bottom. And also the dirt around here adds more resistance for the gold, gives the gold somewhere to settle in at. If this entire fluid bed was um, fluidized, I think it's probably gonna blowing out more gold. Alright, so this is done. As you can see, it's pretty full of dense material. Not a lot of exchange, say, <clears throat> not a lot of visible exchange. But you can see that it's still fluidized. And there is water backed up to, into the hopper that's a sure sign that you have some dense material in there we're just going to go ahead and plug the motor and break it down so again just a pinch go side to side tube up where you're not going to get water everywhere. And I like to take this top off first. And so you want to kind of twist back and forth. <clears throat> Just be easy taking it off. And then I'll remove this one. Again, twisting back and forth slowly and that's pretty much it you can take this off but you don't really have to all right so here i have a third small container i like to use to clean these out And then I, when I go to pan it, I'll just transfer this to a pan. It's something you can usually tell with the first one run versus the second run. It's the sound that the material makes. <laughs> down same here maybe give it a little twist like that get these points of contact better and put the discharge tube on So I'll go ahead and do a second run and start panning out. So I just finished up with the second run. And as you can see, there's basically nothing in there. Which is, for a second run, that's a good sign. It means I caught.
caught all the heavies in the first one and the gold. So I'm gonna break this down and pan it out. All right, I'm gonna start with the second run here because it's easier to pan out. And it's like pretty much nothing. So for some weird reason, there's always tiny specks in the second run. Or if you're running the duo, there's always <clears throat> a few tiny specks in the second one. Originally in the beginning, you know, I was thinking it's possible, possibly from the trap getting too built up. Um, but I think if that was the case, it would be a lot more gold on the second run and I suspect that it could happen with the very first scoop where the when the the trap is empty I'm gonna be testing that more but I've I've tried so many different things so many different parts and pieces and this and that <clears throat> Trying to get 99% recovery in the first run. But no matter what I do, it always seems to have the same exact results. So as you can see, just really tiny specks. Comparison, I like to use the back side of a dime. It has a little more detail on it. You can see just how small that stuff is. Alright, so I'm gonna <clears throat> work on the first one now. That's the fun one. Alright, so now I'm gonna do the fun part. Call this the fun run. You can just hear the difference. So this part takes forever. I'm gonna end up fast forwarding it. Get some more water. And so everybody has their own <clears throat> painting techniques. This is what I like to do. So on each side, I wanna try to keep it as even as possible. Then eventually, you'll see that all the, the material starts to come down more in the middle of the pan instead of on the sides. I'm just doing small strokes. So I want the material, the black sands and stuff here, I want them to just travel down a little bit during each stroke. And then eventually I'll find like a speck or something in this area <clears throat> and I'll just let it sit there. And once that speck goes down, starts to get close to like the middle of the pan then I'll reset and keep the process going
All right, and this is what we were left with. Not a whole lot, but it can definitely handle a lot. A lot more material, a lot more gold. This is just what I have in this, in the dirt that I ran. That's pretty much it.